So a few days ago, I came here to the Angeles National Forest to shoot some photos. You can see them right now. I came here because there was some nice and snow, but there was way too many people, so it was just obnoxious. I couldn't shoot in the place that I wanted to shoot in. So that's what we're doing today. It's about two days later, and I hope there's still snow. I really hope there is um, at the main, the way, way top. There isn't over here because it's just way too far down. But yeah, today we're me shooting some amazing landscape photography, hopefully with snow. Hopefully, it's a caveat. I don't know if there is. I guess we'll find out later when I go up there. But yeah, that's what we do today. Showing some landscape photography with a nice lake, hopefully, and some snow. So let's get right to it. What is up y'all? It is the Project Photography back into the video and today people, today we're we'll doing another POV landscape photography shoot but this time with some snow as you guys can see. I was pleasantly surprised while I was driving up here to find out that there actually is some snow. Um, from two days ago there was snow but I wasn't sure if there's going to be snow today because it's gotten kind of warmer in the past couple days. The good part is there's not as many people so I can kind of go around and do what I want without having to feel like I'm being interrupted all the time by so many people. Um, I'm pretty early to where I actually want to shoot. It's about 3 o'clock. Sunset's at around 5 so where I want to shoot be there around an hour before so I can actually find out what I want to shoot and just look around and things like that. So what I'm going to do for now is just walk around and this little area and see what there is to shoot and maybe just take some photos. I don't know. But yeah, our main spot that I want to go to is an area called Crystal Lake Recreational Area. It's a pretty nice lake. I've shot it before, um, just not in video. So I want to actually get it on video and me doing that. So yeah, that should be pretty fun. Um, but other than that, yeah, let's get right to shooting and walking around and all the good stuff. Alright y'all, so I just got to the area I want to shoot at, and look at that. Look at that mountain back there. It's really, really nice. Uh, this lake area is also actually pretty nice, and there's a pretty good amount of snow too, so there's a few things working for us. But the main problem I have is that kind of algae looking stuff right there. I'll have to figure out a way to like kind of deal with that. I don't really like that in the photo, but I think I'll be able to work around it somehow. But I think what I'm going to do for now is just kind of like look around, scout around, see what there is to shoot, what compositions I can get. And when I put you guys on my GoPro, that's when it's time to actually start shooting the real photos. So right now I'm just gonna walk around, seeing what there is, and I'll get back to you guys when I'm ready to shoot. What's up y'all, we are now behind the scenes, behind the camera. And today people, we're gonna be doing some POV landscape photography. So just as a caveat, I think I mentioned this before that I did walk around and found compositions that I liked. So when it came time for blue hour, I was able to shoot exactly what I wanted, when I wanted to and not have to worry about, you know, looking for different types of photos and all that. And I could just shoot exactly what I wanted when I wanted to. So the first kind of composition I see is this kind of little log thing right here with some snow on it with the mountain in the background so i think this is a really nice composition because i'm able to avoid using those like algae bits that i kind of mentioned earlier in the video and plus to get a nice foreground along with uh, exaggerating the kind of snowy aspects of it and showing the nice uh, subject in the background the only problem i really had was you know making sure that it was all lined up and in this photo you see it's nice and uh, centered uh, when it comes to that log thing and the uh, and the subject in the background. And this is what I was going for, you know. Uh, so what I'm doing here is I'm taking four shots. Um, one that's focused on the mountain in the background. One's focused on, focused on the log. Another's focused on the middle of the image. And the fourth photo is at F13. Because I want to make sure that, you know, uh, I maybe get a photo. Maybe the um, photo st uh, focus stacking doesn't work out. So I just have a photo that has everything in focus at F13. So that's what that was about. And since this photo I was able to get, I go ahead and move to my next uh, spot. Uh, there's only two real photos that I want to take. I feel like 
The other photos that I was thinking of were a bit repetitive. Um, I did take photos earlier in the day, so I, I knew exactly what I wanted to do. And right here, I think this is a good time to actually get the sun or like the different lighting in the background and kind of make sure that I show, you know, what kind of scenery this was. Nice and snow, nice and icy. Uh, and that's exactly what I'm going for right here. And you'll see this in a bit. Um, this is around, I want to say, 5 o'clock ish. This is when the sun is already set. So this is now um, very well into blue hour. Going ahead and putting on a three stop ND filter because I want to get a, a 30 second exposure around. Um, and nothing too crazy like four or five minutes. So three uh, three stop uh, ND filter will do just fine here. And you can kind of see the image I was going for. I like this image a lot, especially. So I'm going to go ahead and edit it. Um, you can see that the kind of. Uh, the blueness kind of cleans up well, you're changing the white balance and exposure and working with that. And I actually really like this photo a lot. There's a nice uh, softness to the colors. You can really see um, the nice and snow and just how the ice is working in the image. Um, I think it's a really nice balance between foreground elements as well as the trees and just the overall mountain structure in the background. I really like this image a lot. I did take multiple iterations of this photo like earlier in the day. And this is the, the composition that I felt most comfortable with, the one I liked the most. Um, I really wanted to make sure I get that nice wide angle shot uh, and showing kind of like a bit more of the foreground, showing that off. Um, that's kind of what I wanted to do. And I think I do it well. So just taking multiple exposures just to see, you know, the kind of variation I get with the different types of lighting. Um, the lighting is changing very rapidly here. And I want to say it's changing like every 30 seconds. It's It goes by pretty fast. So yeah, I just take four photos just to make sure that I get exactly what I wanted. And at this point, I kind of realized that there's the light is going to get a lot darker and it's not going to be as nice. So um, this is the last photo that I take. So that is that. And these are the two photos that I got. This one is actually not the same one. If you noticed um, back in the more early in the video, I actually did not edit any of those images because I just felt like, you know, the lighting was not that great, especially because, you know, it was super, super soft and there was just no real reason for those photos to be better than the image that I took. This is earlier in the day. Um, it captures the same type of feeling, same type of vibe. And actually, I try to edit both of them the same. And the colors on the ones that I took that were from Blue Hour did not really come out that great. It was a lot more muted, a lot more um, deaf. And I really like this image more. Um, maybe even though this uh, log is not as centered, I still think the colors are better and all that kind of makes up for it. And it's still pretty relatively centered. So we go to the next image, which, you know, I kind of praise a lot about. Um, I like the colors in the sky. I think it came out pretty nice. I also like how, you know, the exaggeration with the foreground and the kind of snowy uh, lake. I really like this image a lot. I think it has a lot of nice elements to it. A lot of um, coexisting complementary elements to it. Like the snow, like the mountain in the background, the trees make good uh, composition. And I really like how the sky is very soft, not nothing too crazy, but I really like these images. So let me know what your, what your guys' favorite image was in this thing. And uh, let me know down in the comment section down below and let's get right back to the video. So guys, I just finished shooting my landscape photography photos. I think they came out pretty well, but I'm gonna get going now so I don't stay around here when it's too dark, because it's around 510 right now, and that's around blue hour. So yeah, let's head back to the car and we'll finish it up. So guys, I just got done with shooting. Uh, it was, I feel like this is a pretty short video. I don't know, I guess I'll have to see. But I don't know, I really enjoyed how the photos came out. Uh, I think it was cool how uh, I was able to get, you know, a different type of landscape than I normally shoot. And with a nice element like snow, I think it was a great addition to the actual photos. Um, I didn't think the actual sky was that nice today, but I think it makes up for it, the fact that I had snow. That's all I really came here for anyways. So yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think of the photos down below. Let me know what you think about this video. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next one.